Hello everyone, my name is Lotarek. Uh, today I'd like to present you a small manual how to use CO2SD device along with the SD card you can purchase at my online shop. CO2SD device is a simple 16 floppy drive simulator you can use with your Atari. You can connect it to the back of your Atari computer. If you have purchased SD card from me, you stick it in the front and you start the Atari. The most important thing at this moment is to press and hold shift button. My computer is equipped with the Rapidus and Ultimate upgrade. In other computers it will look different. As you can see, as you can see, the loader starts. The most important thing you have noticed probably at the very beginning was a command prompt to select uh, turbo mode. Let's disable this at this moment. Let's go to the setup, press three times shift. We are in the CF gear tool mode, configuration tool mode. We press K1 to select top drive, K2 to disable, K3 to exit. Now, when you start your computer with the shift pressed, you will never be prompted again about the turbo mode loader. Simple file selector will load automatically. You can leave the button. At the very moment the uh, configuration uh, file selector has loaded, you can select whatever you want. Let's uh, let's select uh, games. You use your arrows and the return button. Floppy images, alphabetical, Zbex. Okay. I have selected the Zbex. As you can see, the title is highlighted. I press Option key and holding Option key, I press the Return button for two seconds. Still holding Option key. Why? Option key disables Atari Basic. To load Atari games, the Basic must be disabled in the most cases approximately 99% of the games. As you can see now, the Zbex is loading. It will take some time, but for sure it will load. If you have stock Atari, as uh, my Atari is now set on, the loading time may take 15-20 seconds. If you have some turbo installed, it will take much, much faster. Okay, the second aspect I would want to show you is how to force CO2SD with my SD card to load to load a file selector at every startup. Once again, we are going to the configuration mode of the CO2SD, pressing two times shift. We are in the configuration tool mode. Next option, next option, next option. And now we have configuration tool mode, startup plus shift. What does it mean? At every startup, when you have shift pressed, the configuration tool will load. We can change it every startup. And let's keep it that way. And let's turn it off uh, configuration. Now, if I start my Atari, look what happens without touching anything. CO2 SD sex loader starts and we have full list of SD card. Of course, you can take your um, SD card, put it to your PC, download some nice stuff from internet and put it back to the device. The most important, do it while the computer is off. Okay, once again, the most important thing. Let's now let's load some executable file. 
let's uh, let's load I don't know let's load thread once again we press the option key to disable basic the most important thing to remember if you have stock Atari the basic must be disabled option is pressed and hold held we press return for two seconds holding option now we can leave it and now you can see the thread game is loading of course we must give it some time and the game has loaded the crunching Unlimited lives? No, we are hardcore gamers. And the game is loaded. Okay. Of course, I've got many questions how to use those buttons. The usage of those buttons is very simple. Very. Uh, people are rather more interested why, how to make configuration tool to load every startup, but I will show you now how to use the button instead of uh, loader. Once again, we're going to the configuration tool mode, pressing shift three times, next option, next option, next option, configuration tool, we change from every startup to startup plus shift, K3 to exit. And now I can select game from my D1 drive. As you can see, K1 is the next drive. Press uh, When you press, press sh and hold shift, K changes from next drive to previous drive. K2, next folder, next file. Let's go to the games inside, enter, trained, boulder dash. Let's select. As you can see, boulder dash is selected. Re res we press reset, Holding option, we start the Atari, and in this very moment, Boulder Dash will start loading. As you can see, Boulder Dash is loading. That was the simple usage of the keyboard. Of course, it doesn't, it makes no problem now to start bootloader. We just Press three times to show configuration tool mode. Reset. Oh, sorry. This is the game that don't, doesn't reset. Let's press shift and then start the computer again. And now the file selector should load as we have set in our setup. Option startup plus shift. Startup, it means Atari starts. Shift, this key pressed at the start. I think all is now clear. Uh, I have now three options of co 2 SD devices available at my shop. Gray XS style, black and uh, white one. Uh, thank you very much for your time and watching. See ya.